The process of calculating indirect illumination in 3ds Max called Final Gather is the first form of indirect illumination that you should try to use. It provides a straightforward method by which you can get satisfactory results from your rendered scenes. Final Gather tends to be a very efficient method of calculating the indirect illumination in your scene. And it's relatively flexible and offers you choices to make adjustments that allow you to optimize your rendered image. To better help you understand how this process works, let's take a look at what Final Gather is really doing in your scene when you render. Take for example, we're going to render a daylight scene that is in an interior room with a window to the outside that lets some sunlight in. If we render only the direct illumination, what we see is the sunlight that comes through the window, but the rest of the room is in complete darkness. The reason for this is that we're not calculating any indirect illumination, so there's no light bouncing around the scene. If we calculate just the indirect illumination coming from the sun only, we can begin to see how Final Gather takes the light coming in from the sun and bounces it around the room. However, this is only part of what Final Gather does with the daylight system. When using Final Gather with the daylight system, you're calculating not only the direct sunlight, but also the diffuse light that exists in the atmosphere caused by the direct sunlight scattered by the dust and water vapor that exists. This is what skylight generates in our scene. When we render the same scene with both sunlight and the skylight, we get a complete visual model of the light that enters the room from the exterior environment. You can see that the indirect illumination that is calculated not only looks smoother and cleaner, but is brighter and represents a physically accurate version of daylight. So accurate, in fact, that the daylight simulation in 3ds Max has been certified for daylight lighting analysis.